the last thing you want to do in med school is spend your time studying things that are not going to come in the exam. Oh, child, that is... Now look at this. Greetings my loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie Caitlin. Welcome to yet another video on my channel. If this is your first time stopping by, please do subscribe to my channel and join the family and help me grow. I post medicine and lifestyle and productivity related videos and if that's something that you're interested in, then definitely subscribe and join the family. And if you're not new here, thank you so much for coming back again. I am pleased to see you. <laughs> I have my cup of tea in hand and I just thought I'd sit down and share with you guys some tips on how to pass exams in med school. I went to med school for six years. I did study in China for five years and then I did my last year in Botswana in Southern Africa and then I went on to work in Tanzania. So I do believe I have a bit of experience and knowledge with medical exams, medical school exams and all that sort. So I thought I'd share this with you guys because this is also a question that I typically get asked a lot. How do you pass exams in med school? And so in this video that is all we're going to be talking about and I compiled a few tips that I think should help you guys so the very first point plan ahead Ugh, guys you I don't know how like to emphasize this point without just like holding your throat and like letting you know you need to plan ahead in med school there is a lot a lot an overwhelming amount of work and there's no way you're going to study like a day or two before the exam and expect to do really well so when I say plan ahead what I mean is you've just started the semester you know when your exams are coming make a schedule make a, a time frame like you have you know you have exams in three months what are you gonna do in those three months don't sit and then be that don't be that person that you know, just dilly dally throughout the semester and then finds yourself stressed out of your mind and just overwhelmed and just totally anxious and overwhelmed by the amount of work that you have to catch up with because your exam is like a week away and you don't know anything. This is something that I say all the time. A little a day is better and easier to manage than everything the night before the exam. Um, I, I've, I've, I've lived like the best of both worlds. Like for the first, the first year of my studies, I was very serious because I got to med school late and I had to do a lot of catching up. So I, I arrived with like the mentality that I have to work hard. But from like my second year, third year, I kind of just like lazied about and just like got by. And that's when my exam, that's when my results started to like just like become mediocre. And then I snapped out of it again and I started studying early and I started getting good grades again. Like there was a time where my lowest mark for exams was like, was like an 87%, which is like an A star and you know, and so if you really want to get a good GPA, if you really want to get good grades, the best and most important tip is to start studying early because med school has a lot of content and there's no way you're going to be able to do all of that the week before the exam. So before we move on to the next point, I want to introduce today's video sponsor and that is KenHub. KenHub is an online platform that offers multiple effective tools for learning human anatomy, histology and medical imaging. They make studying a much more fun and enjoyable experience with detailed articles, colorful videos, um, high quality atlas images, interactive quizzes, diagrams and so much more that just makes anatomy um, learning much more interesting than just sitting there with your regular textbook and trying to cram things that will never just stay in your head. The content on KenHub is organized into study units that contain all the learning materials to master a specific topic like this one about the muscles of the hand or this one about the humerus and the scapula. Their videos have speed controls, closed captions and transcript with timestamps. They also have several types of quizzes based on difficulty. They have a custom quiz feature where the user can create their own quiz to tailor fit their learning needs. They also have an option to save your selection and quiz yourself later. They also offer muscle anatomy reference charts, which are summary cheat sheets for the origins, insertions, innervation, and function of muscles. 
they offer a no questions asked seven day money back guarantee which i have no doubt that you guys will not need because their platform is really effective really helpful and it really helps you study smarter instead of harder anatomy is literally the backbone of the medical career and it literally makes or breaks your career how well you know your anatomy right gone are the days before you just sit around with your books for like hours and hours and hours and end and try to cram things that are not entering their heads can have offers a wonderful solution that makes it so much easier and so much more fun and enjoyable you know to study all this information that you need to know so what are you guys waiting for make the move to studying smarter with can have the link will be in the description box below and they're offering you guys a 10 percent discount so hurry 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 and go and get your subscription today let me know how you guys find it and so with that said thank you so much to kenna for sponsoring today's video and for giving my medical students on here a great offer the next point which is point number two is know what's expected of you the last thing you want to do in med school is spend your time studying things that are not going to come in the exam oh child that is the most depressing feeling that you could probably ever feel and i'm sure all the other doctors and medical students on this channel can agree with me when i say that there's no more frustrating feeling than going into your exam and realizing that everything that you studied did not come and that's very possible when you don't know what's expected of you so when i say know what's expected of you what i mean is um do you know your curriculum from your curriculum you have those must knows you have those need to knows and then you have those can get by without knowing it too well and then there's those things that you know you can just like read over it once and that's enough so you need to group your studies into what's very important what is definitely going to be asked of me what do i definitely need to know what do i need to know but i won't be asked of and then what do i not need to know and what is not important you know those kind of things because medicine is broad there's the things that definitely for sure you're not going to pass your exam without knowing this and then there's things that they will never ask you an exam but you just need to know and there's things that they will never ask you an exam and no one will ever ask you for the rest of your medical career there's those kind of things so you need to know where exactly you stand with your studies and plan your studies accordingly that way you get to allocate enough time to the things that are very important and then you can just like spend a day one day reading over what you know is not so important the third point is to make sure you're studying the right way what do i mean when i say studying the right way are you studying at the right time are you a morning person busy trying to stay up at night studying that's not gonna work are you a night owl and you're busy trying to wake up in the morning that's not gonna work and vice versa you know things of that sort and not only like the time that you're studying but what kind of learner are you are you an auditory learner visual learner kinesthetic learner what exactly is it that helps you to study and learn your concepts how best do you study and, and learn concepts and master things? So if you're like a visual learner, I would go with reading my notes, drawing diagrams, you know, looking at, I don't know, flashcards and things of that sort. If you're an auditory learner, I would listen to podcasts and and listen to my lecture notes. Maybe I'll record myself reading my notes and then play them back on my way to school, before I sleep, things of that sort. If you're a kinesthetic learner, draw, make notes, draw diagrams, make little sketches if you have to. Do whatever it takes to make your studying easier because that's the only way that you're actually gonna master the things. I wanna say this over and over again in this video, but the medical school curriculum can be very overwhelming. And if you don't find the right way, the way that works for you to master it, you're gonna be in for a very long, painful, bumpy ride. So point number four is start with what's important and this ties in well with one of the previous points where i said know your curriculum well know what's important what's not so important and things of that sort and when i say start with what's important i mean especially if you've you know kind of just like lazied about throughout the whole semester and you found yourself overwhelmed with a lot of content to do and not enough time start with what's important there is no need for you to make an exam schedule, a study schedule, and then start studying with the things that you know are unlikely to come. So start with the overwhelming chunks of knowledge and get those out of the way. 
get those done early so that later on you can come back and revise them so that if you don't have time to look through things twice at least you've already gone over what's important and then maybe all that you need to do then after is a revision question or something of that sort and while i'm on that same point i need to emphasize this you will never know everything in med school there will never be a time even as a doctor that you will know everything it is impossible there is way too much information to learn in medicine and that is why people go and study for years and years and will go and specialize and will still come back and tell the patient look this is beyond us we don't know what's going on with you and that's because you can never know everything and so don't be that person that tries to cram little bits over here, little bits over there. Know what's important. Know what you know is essential. And then the rest, just look over it, but don't let it stress you and overwhelm you. Because I know some people that get so overwhelmed with like exam anxiety to the point that they can't even study anything at all. And then they end up not doing so great. Not because they didn't study, but because they were so anxious that nothing they studied actually stayed in their heads. So know that you don't know everything and you will never know everything and do what you can and let God do the rest. <laughs> if you take anything from this video at all, it is this next point, point number five. Past papers and revision papers are your best friend. <sighs> Guys, I don't know how many times that I got a really high mark, not because I had studied well. Well, I had studied well because if I've done past papers, that means I have read the knowledge and then I've reached a point where I have not enough knowledge that I feel like I can start attempting to do past papers. But I always say this in all my study videos, your exam, your, your study session is not complete until you've done a revision, until you've done a revision quiz, a test, a mock exam, past paper, something, quiz yourself somehow, even if it's like an online quiz, even if it's an app on your phone that lets you ask questions and answer them, you know, things of that sort. Your study sessions are not complete without a revision test, uh, a mock quiz or something of that sort, but your exam study sessions will be incomplete and totally useless if you don't do past papers. The reason I say this is because the human body is the human body and this 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 point applies to you know students across all professions across law school med school business school economics whatever but more so in medicine because the human body is the human body we've already been created there's nothing in our bodies that's going to change unless it's a disease that's going to come the anatomy will always be anatomy what was your skull will always be your skull where your liver is will always be where your liver is you get my point things don't really change drastically like that in med school whereas someone doing geography things change all the time you know so when you do pass papers you increase your chances of passing your exam because the more questions you do the more you see how this concept is going to be quizzed and tested I've already done like five questions on the same topic same concept for example um, let's see the coagulation cascade the coagulation pathway if you've done like five questions on that pathway there's a very high chance that if the coagulation pathway and cascade comes in your exam you're gonna get that question right why because you've already answered it in different ways so no matter how they bring it in your exam you already have five different ways of answering that question and that increases your chances of getting a really good mark i hope i'm making sense to you guys I'm not boring you with all this information like honestly there's only so many ways you can be asked about one thing and the more questions you answer the higher your chances of but the higher your chances are of mastering that thing and once you've mastered it you've mastered it for good until you get to final year and actually become a doctor a specialist that thing will always remain in your head on that same point um test yourself in various ways don't just do like multiple choice questions do case-based questions do definitions do um analysis do case studies do everything that you can possibly do i hope you guys have heard me loud and clear on this point moving right along to the next point point number six there's something that we always say in med school i don't know if this applies to other people out there if they use the same thing but we always say see one do one teach one what that means is see a procedure try to do this procedure and then teach someone else how to do the procedure the same thing applies with your studies read 
um, learn the thing in class, read about it at home, and then teach the concept to someone else. And I'm not necessarily a big fan of group studies, but it depends when your group study is. The last thing you want to do the day before your exam is go for a group study because you want to find that there's people that know things that you don't know, and that is going to overwhelm you and stress you. You're going to panic and you're going to go and fail. If you want to do group studies, go and do them like weeks before the exam, maybe like two weeks max, minimum. Yeah, maybe two weeks minimum before the exam. And just like use that as like a guide to see, okay, what other information is out there that I don't really have? And I say two weeks because in those remaining two weeks before the exam, after that group session, you can use that time to go and learn those things that you got from other people. And that is also a very good time for you to practice what you've already learned. So go and teach your, your friends and your mates and your classmates and whatever about what it is that you've learned. And you'll see that when you teach a concept, it's gonna stay in your head longer than if you've just read it and and written notes about it when you actually see it and, and when you actually try to explain it and teach it to someone else as if they've never heard the thing before you get to like gather information from different parts of your head i don't know how that it works i don't know medicine but um yeah try it and let me know if it works for you this is definitely a game changer um this was definitely a game changer in my in my studies because i was never a group study pe person but when i did my group study sessions like weeks before the exam and then everyone would like come together and teach like a topic i always noticed that that topic that i taught it stays with me even after the exam and semesters ahead and years ahead until now as a doctor i still remember those things that i used to teach and so in conclusion you guys you definitely want to be studying smarter not harder you will study and study and kill yourself trying to study but if you're not studying the right way you're not gonna get good grades you're gonna end up with average scores if not fail and it's very easy to fail in med school I kid you not no matter where you study it's the same thing if you don't study smart you're definitely gonna end up with average mediocre results and I'm assuming you watch this video because you want to get really good results I plead with you guys to listen to these points don't forget to check out Ken Hub and make use of the 10% discount that they're offering my subscribers. Do let me know how you guys find it. Otherwise, let me know if you have any other medical school related videos that you want me to film for you guys in the comment section. Let me know if you have any questions, any comments, anything that helped you in your studies perhaps. Um, otherwise, that's all from me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Share this video with your friends and family that might find it useful. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys. Mwah.